the mistletoe I want to get to know you better This Christmas And when we trim the tree How much fun it's gonna be together This Christmas The fireside is blazing bright Christmas for me. Oh. Presents and cards are here. My world is filled with cheer and all of you. This Christmas, and as I look around, your eyes outshine. in bright and we're caroling through the night and this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me Give it up for Marco Antonio Santos. How about this big band? Hang on the mistletoe, I want to get to know you better. This Christmas, and as I look around your eyes, I shine. This Christmas, the fireside is blazing bright. And we're caroling through the night. And this Christmas will be a very special Christmas for me. Shake a hand, shake a hand Oh, this Christmas Yes Oh, this Christmas Shake a hand, shake a hand Oh, this Christmas Ladies and gentlemen, how are you feeling this evening? Usually I ask twice, but uh, that's the Christmas present from the Christian Weeks Big Band. We won't ask you again twice in a row how you're feeling. Uh, it's lovely to see each and every one of you. Can we please uh, give a warm welcome to the soloist on that last tune, which is the great Marco Antonio Santos. With a solid Christmas color, by the way. That's one of the forgotten. Plum is one of the forgotten Christmas colors. And I, I know that that was the very first thing you thought about when you walked out of bed this morning. When you walked out of bed. Not, not rolled out of bed. You walk out of bed, as one does. They stand up fully formed, and then they just walk straight down. This is what it's called whenever you spiral on a bit that's going too long. So we're going to keep going by introducing the arranger on that last tune. Give it up for Thomas Wingminski. 
Well, it is lovely to see all of you. If uh, if you don't know me, my name is Christian Wiggs, um, and thank you. Ooh, ooh, all right, thank you very much. The singer's ego is usually oh so fragile, so thank you so much. We appreciate it. It's like the offering plate, but just in terms of affirmation, you know. All right, we're gonna keep going with uh, a, a dear friend of mine wrote this next arrangement. He's somebody who has uh, become increasingly less of a stranger uh, to the Austin scene. It's a pianist uh, based in New York and Boston by the name of Stephen Feifke. He actually, we have not announced this yet, so let's serve, have this serve as the announcement for it. He will be back uh, here next month on Sunday, January 22nd. So uh, reacclimating ourselves to the Feifkeisms, or as we call him, the Fife dog. Here is I'll Be Home for Christmas. Christmas. Thomas Wanglinski on the piano. One more time for these cats, man. Sounding so great. Whoa, Christmas. 
Thomas Wayne Linsky, <laughs> Stephen Feifke in the ether, somewhere around here. You know, I have to brag on, on, on somebody who's uh, not in the room for just a quick second. Um, uh, and a lot of people in this town know who another great uh, pianist is by the name of David Mescatique. Um, yeah, that's right, that's right, David Mescatique. He deserves a woo every once in a while. Let's give David Mescatique a woo. There we go. You're very fun. Thank you for, for obliging. Uh, but we just a, a quick shout out to him and Steven. Uh, he's been taking a course uh, on, on big band arranging, uh, several of which uh, we've been uh, featuring in the band. And uh, he's been uh, kind of under the tutelage of Stephen Feifke and just went to uh, New York for a couple days and recorded an album uh, with Stephen, with a lot of Stephen's students. So, um, you know, congratulations to David for going and, and recording a record in New York City. It's fantastic. Very proud of him. He's a, a, a wonderful collaborator and one of my oldest friends. And uh, so now we'll we'll divert the attention now to the people who are in the room. I would love to introduce you to the very fine members of this band. On the uh, uh, lead alto saxophone, he had this incredible uh, Bucky's hat uh, on during rehearsal, and I was I'm, I'm slightly upset. I would you know I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that he has impeccable taste and style uh, from your favorite local gas station. So give it up for on the alto saxophone, Dr. Matthew Maldonado. He's still got the red tie and the green shoes, so he's still in the Christmas spirit. He doesn't, you know, that's right. <laughs> Getting ready for the Arctic freeze, and I, 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 I uh, commented in, immediately once I saw this coat, because it's an incredible coat. Give it up for, on the alto saxophone, Palo Santos. <laughs> you gotta tell us all where you got that coat, and we're all gonna go, and it's gonna, gonna become the band uniform, even in July, here in Mux. It'll be... It'll be interesting. We'll all get to know each other very well. On the uh, tenor saxophone uh, this evening, who requested that we wear anything but all black for the ho Christmas holidays, give it up. Uh, he's like, yeah, thank God, thank God. And he's complete and all with his candy cane tie. Give it up for, on the tenor saxophone, Dr. Diego Rivera. <laughs> I think it's catching. I think it's becoming a trend with uh, incredible hats. This is how I need to get a new line for introducing them because it's always me talking about the hats. The, maybe you didn't know that. Maybe I just let on, but the band knows that. But they do have impeccable taste in hats. Give it up for our patron saint here in the Austin Jazz community, Dr. John Mills on the tenor saxophone. And I don't know if I can say that he was the trendsetter, but at least in this setting, he was the first one I saw wearing the hats. So the trendsetter, uh, Mr. Style himself on the baritone saxophone, give it up for Mr. Eric Cargett. We're gonna keep things going with uh, a chart that was just brought in today and uh, we heard it and we knew we had to play it for you. It was arranged by the great Diego Rivera. Here is Jingle Bell Rock. Jingle bell, jingle bell rock, jingle bell swing and jingle bells ring, snowing and glowing up bushels of fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock, jingle bell chime in jingle bell time, dancing and prancing in jingle bell square. In the frosty air, what a bright time! It's the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time, it's a swell time 
to go riding in a one horse sleigh. Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle around the clock. Mix and a mingle in the jingle and beat. That is the jingle bell rock. Chris Cermak on the trumpet. To go riding in a war sleigh Giddy up, jingle horns, pick up your feet Jingle around the clock Mix and a mingle in the jingle in beat That is the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell That's the jingle bell rock Diego Rivera on the arrangement and the solo. In the back, I have to give a, a special uh, 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 introduction uh, to the, the next person who uh, soloed on that last tune. Uh, he was somebody who uh, I looked up, toward, uh, looked up towards as, as a mentor. Uh, we both come from the same hometown of Lake Jackson, Texas, which is 60 miles south of Houston. Do you know Lake Jackson? You're not just being nice. You're not just like, I'm gonna help him out because I know nobody knows where that is. You know where it is. Okay, fantastic. Uh, you know, it, it's, all, it's all tied together. Dow Chemical, yes, you know. Hopefully it wasn't in our water growing up. We say there's something in the water. We hope it wasn't Dow Chemical. But there's a lot of creative folks that are down there. You know, like the first person to win Models of the Runway for Project Runway. People who are currently touring as, uh, you know, Alexander Hamilton on the Ann Peggy tour from Lake Jackson. Like, it's just, it's a wild community. Um, and also, little known fact, the birthplace of Bucky's. So you can you can thank Lake Jackson and 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 Bo Applin the whole the whole thing. Bieber Applin, yes, Bieber Applin. Bo, I think was his was his son that, that I grew up with. Anyways, we don't keep in touch, so we're gonna keep moving on. Uh, now I'm just joking. Until until I have that extra like ten cents off at the pump, you know, it's like no more plugs, no more free plugs for Bucky's. But I do. Uh, I back in my hometown of Lake Jackson, bringing it all back full circle. Uh, I looked up to this person. Uh, I also am a, a trumpet player, but I, I do it less and less these days. But uh, he was my section leader. He was uh, an upperclassman to me. He was a great mentor and. Uh, helped me uh, know how to get out of trash cans and out of lockers whenever the, the bullies would come by. Give it up on the trumpet on that last tune for Chris Cermak. It doesn't matter if he was the bully putting me in the trash can or in the lockers. Like, it doesn't matter if he was the one, you know? But he taught me how to get out of them, and that's a valuable life lesson. 
All right, the next tune that we're going to do, uh, John, I'm not sure that I have enough slack here to give you a microphone. Uh, would, you, would you like me to introduce her, or would you like to project and tell people about this next tune? Well, I will try to project. He's going to project. John Mills, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah uh, Christian invited me to write another Christmas arrangement for this occasion this year, and um, the first tune that came to mind was O Christmas Tree, which I've done versions of over the years, you know, in quartets, and started putting this together and I looked at the lyrics, and they're the most, if I may say so, the most nothing lyrics of any of the Christmas <laughs> songs. So, so I, could, I couldn't see forcing Christian to uh, sing that. And so I came, you know, there's a very familiar, iconic story in our uh, American culture about the Christmas tree on the Christmas tree lot that is so sad looking that it doesn't get picked and it ends up in the trash. And so this version of that story has a happy ending right when it's down to the last minute. The good news is the little Christmas tree gets stolen by a, uh, <laughs> yeah, he gets, gets stolen by a poor homeless guy who, so it's a happy ending. The, the guy has a, has a happy Christmas. He's got a Christmas tree. The uh, security guards at the uh, Walmart Christmas tree parking lot, they ignore it so they can feel good about themselves. They have a little Christmas spirit and just let it go down. And then best, best of all, the Christmas tree gets to be a Christmas tree. You know, so it's a happy yeah. ending. Yeah. Yeah. I'm almost slightly concerned that you thought of me for that very elaborate storyline. <laughs> But it's a beautiful arrangement, John. So we're gonna we're gonna do it to it. Come on. All right. So here is from John Mills uh, a traditional arrangement. Oh, Christmas tree.
Dr. Matthew Molyneux. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. You were born to be a spirit lifter. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. Just stolen by a poor old drifter. Security, they saw it all and barely gave a chase. Twas the dictionary picture of a Yuletide charity case. Oh, 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 Christmas tree. Oh, a Christmas tree. Get ready for your Hallmark special. John Mills. When you go home uh, for the holidays, uh, you can go to your family and they can say, what'd you do? And you're like, well, I actually just saw this great Christmas show. Well, you can say great or not. If you, you know, the, the, the show's still going. You get to decide. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. You know, I, I have to say from, from the, I have a lot of friends that, that are, you're all friends, but I have a lot of friends that are here, a lot of familiar faces. We don't quite know each other yet, but you have been the most supportive person. And I really want you my mom is furiously typing in the comment section on the live stream. It's like, she is not the most supportive person here. It is, it is me. It is me. I'm your mother. You know. But, but you're a close second. A very close second. Thank you. Thank you for coming. But you, yeah, you can tell. Yeah, sure. You, you can tell people that you're like, yeah, we, we heard this great, you know, uh, arrangement of Oh Christmas Tree. It was a little depressing. But then, it, you know, it really, it, it really turned out. And then you can have like, uh, you know, it actually is like the perfect setup for like a National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation 2 or something like that, you know, because everyone knows that sequels always make the story better. Everyone knows that the sequel always is better than the original. <laughs> Someone was like, no. So it's just like light laughter on a, on a you know, grade D, C or D bit. And then someone was like, no, no, I don't agree. I don't agree. The sequels are never better. We're going to keep going with a, uh, a great arrangement from Thomas Winglinski. Again, this is, uh, you know, speaking of, of tunes that uh, Christmas always makes me nostalgic um, because of like all the, the feelings growing up when, you know, you just, you didn't know what rent was. You didn't know what the difference between filing single or head of household was on your taxes. You know, like it just, you know, it was a different time. You know, action figures were the new exciting thing and you had no idea about what everything cost. Um, but uh, so it's one of the things I really love about Christmas is, is transporting me back to that, that feeling of that time and those classic films and those classic tunes. Um, this next one, uh, unfortunately, did not make it into my life whenever I was a child. So Thomas was like, you need to know this song. It, it, what, that's right, that's right. Thomas Winglinski, ladies and gentlemen. That's why he's here, to get me hip to these tunes, and I promise an, uh, another Christmas will not go by without me playing this uh, incessantly on uh, Spotify or Apple Music or whatever uh, streaming platform is uh, the least problematic these days. Here is the Christmas Waltz. Oh. 
frosted window panes, candles gleaming inside, painted candy canes on the tree. Santa's on his way, he's filled his sleigh with things, things for you and for me. It's that time of year when the world falls in love. Every song you hear seems to say, Merry Christmas, may your new year dreams come true and this song of mine in three quarter time wishes you and yours the same thing too John Mills. How about it for soon to be Dr. Ryan Hagler on the bass? Yeah. And again for Dr. John Mills on the tenor saxophone. Is there anything he can't do? No, there is not. There is not. Well, I think it's time that I introduce uh, some more members of this very fine band. Again, they are working uh, uh, super hard for you. And uh, what it, what's been really uh, nice is uh, about having a big band is that it's like having it's like having a nice bit 
big extended family, you know, that we get to come together and, and whenever we come, it's like we, we have so many other gigs that we uh, do, but whenever we come back together, it just feels like zero time has passed. And I it, it was thinking about it, the last show that we did uh, all together with this band here in Monks was back in September, and it's just wild how the fall uh, flies. But uh, one of the people that never fails to have a smile whenever he walks in the door, uh, ushering in, especially for the Christmas season, the Yuletide. It's in his name. Give it up for Yulrikin Williams on the trombone. Santa himself. Man, Paul, like, truly, it is the most stylish thing. What, what would you call these? Like, that attach on to the glasses. What do you call them? A croaky? It sounds like somebody doing like a Crocodile Dundee like impersonation bad, like croaky, you know? It's like, that, that's what that sounds like. But it is incredibly stylish and I need to take some notes from you on the trombone. Give it up for Paul Diemer. Over here on the third trombone, another resident member of this band. I think, Leo, was the very first time that you played with the band uh, on the Christmas show last year? Let's say for the sake of the bit that it was yes. On his one year anniversary, give it up for Leo Gaona on the trombone. <laughs> Melding together the two things that we love most in the holiday season is school spirit and incredible Christmas sweaters. Give it up for the man with all the style. Everybody's styling in this band over here on the trombone, Aaron Garcia. It's an appropriate thing that we introduce the trombone section before this next chart because this next chart uh, features the trombone section. So here is uh, an old classic. Uh, man, there is an absolutely killing arrangement of this that you should listen to, if not already, uh, with Tony Bennett and uh, the Count Basie Orchestra, I believe. I think, I think that's, the, that's the record. It is unbelievable. Check it out. And we hope that you enjoy this arrangement as well that was written by Thomas Wayne Linsky. Here is Winter Wonderland. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the lane, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, we're happy tonight. Walking in a winter wonderland. Gone away is the bluebird. Here to stay is that bluebird. To sing a love song as we go along. Walking in a winter wonderland. In the meadow, we can build a snowman. Pretend that he is Parson Brown He'll say, are you merry? We'll say, no man But you can do the job while you're in town Later on, we'll conspire as we dream by the fire To place on a frame the plans that we made Walking in a winter wonderland Thank you. 
Snowman and pretend that he is Parson Brown. He'll say, Are you Mary? We'll say, No, man. But you can do the job while you're in town later on. We'll conspire. Hey, we dream by the fire to face unafraid the plans that we made. Walking in a winter wonderland. Walking in a winter wonderland. Walking in a winter wonderland. Yo, we're Ken Williams, Paul Deemer, Eric Johnson on the lead trumpet. My God, come on, give it up for him. Thomas Wayne Linsky on the arrangement. All right, it is time to, uh, to come back to the, uh, uh, one of the arrangers that we've already heard uh, this evening. Uh, man, lovely, lovely charts all the time. Always feel the Steely Dan influence no matter what. He's maybe the leading authority on Steely Dan, as I've heard it, at least in the Central Texas area, but maybe all over the world. So uh, this next tune, tune is uh, one of the most beloved. And actually, I, I just come to, to learn recently the, the way that this had um, uh, come to uh, kind of exist. Uh, the tune is the Christmas song, or chestnuts roasting on an open fire. And it was uh, something that was on Bob Wells' piano. Uh, and Mel Torme had come in, and he had seen just a few lines of text, which were the first four lines of the song. And it wasn't written in mind for being a, uh, like a Christmas tune or, or a tune really at all. It was just him trying to think, like it was in the, written in the middle of a blistering hot summer and he just thought, well, if I think cool, then hopefully I'll be cool. And then 45 minutes later, the entire tune was done because they were like, hey, those are some really great lyrics. We should do something with that. So that's how the song came to be. And then of course I told John, like have total free reign on anything that you want to do. And of course he uh, came to us with a oh, Christmas tree and this next one, which is the Christmas song. So uh, give it up again for John Mills. Everybody knows a turkey and some is 
手头。Should help to make the season bright. Tiny tides with their eyes all up. Of toys and goodies on his sleigh, and every mother's child is gonna spy to see. John, I, I, I think I told you this last year, but that, that, that last part, mistletoe, folks dress like Eskimos. It might be my favorite like eight or 16 bars in, in all big band that I've ever heard. Thank you for, for writing that chart, truly. It's a Christmas present, truly. So I want to uh, just take a, a quick poll. Uh, it's gonna get quite cacophonous, but on the count of three, I want you to think, uh, or I, I want you to think now of your favorite Christmas movie, the one that uh, comes to mind every single Christmas season. And on the count of three, we're all gonna shout together, you know, because I feel like we've all had maybe like a, a stressful week getting those last minute Christmas presents and everyone deserves a chance to yell. Um, you know, so uh, on the count of three, I just wanna hear your favorite Christmas movie. One, two, three. I did hear Die Hard. I did. What'd you say? Gremlins. Gremlins. Someone said Gremlins. Is that considered? Would, would we would we put that in the category? Definitely. If Die Hard is, then. If. Die, if die. My favorite is 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 Die Die Hard Three with with a vengeance. You know that's my favorite Christmas movie. Yeah right. Die Die Hard. Isn't that how they did it? You know it's kind of like the Fast and Furious. Die Hard. Die Harder. Die Harder. Die Harder. Die harder, die harder, die harder, die harder. Uh, but I, I think of uh, I think of Home Alone as my favorite Christmas movie. It seems you know somewhat you know of an obvious choice. It's not Gremlins. It's not Die Hard. But I do think of this. Oh, 
Let's, well, no, we'll, we'll, we'll do that one after White Christmas. There we go. Just a, a slight discrepancy in the band on the set list. But I do think of, uh, I, I think of Home Alone, and I think of a couple classic arrangements that we're going to pay tribute to this evening, the first of which is coming up for you now. Uh, here is, uh, you know, somewhat initially based on the essence of the Drifters uh, recording of, the White Chris, of, of White Christmas. Give it up for uh, Thomas Winglinski's arrangement of White Christmas. <laughs> I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I used to know Where the treetops glisten And children listen to hear Sleigh bells in the snow The snow I am Dreaming of a white, white Christmas With every Christmas card I write May your days, may your days, may your days Be merry and bright And may all your Christmases be white oh. Jimmy Shortell. of a white, white Christmas With every Christmas card I write May your days, may your days, may your days be merry and bright And may all, all your Christmases be white be Jimmy Shortell on the trumpet. Thomas Winglinski. Diego Rivera. Bringing it all around. Man, man. There, I, I gotta tell you, there, there is nothing more fun uh, than, than uh, playing music with a big band. I, I've made the joke before. 
I'll make the joke again because it's really not quite a joke. It just makes me feel this way. Is it's like this is when you do this or you like do a, a, a gesture or a movement with a big band hit. It's about as close as you can get to feeling like you're a Marvel superhero. Uh, you know, it's just like the amount of like power. It's just like oh man, like I did that. I didn't do that, but like it makes me feel that way. You know, it's that it's that childlike wonder of the whole thing. Uh, we are uh, gonna uh, take things over. We'll do an audible. I'll say it where everyone can hear it. Do you hear what I hear? Do, do, do we all hear what I hear? Are we all hearing? All right, great, great. Fantastic. It works that way. Um, uh, I, I grew up, and, and so uh, you know, Christmas was obviously a very uh, central part of my uh, childhood growing up. My father is a, a minister, and so um, you know, we, we always had a lot of uh, sacred tunes around the house. Um, you know, when it comes to the Christmas holidays. It was basically, we were allowed to listen to uh, praise and worship music, Christian rock bands, and then my dad uh, sneaking like Boston and Journey, you know, in the garage. Like it was like a cigarette that he was embarrassed of, you know. It was like, no, it's got to be Mercy Me, you know, and like Jars of Clay. And, you know, that's a very niche joke. If you know those bands, then we should go bowling, you know. It's not a lot of people do. Um, but... <laughs> So this, this one uh, was uh, a tune that I was very, very familiar with from my upbringing. Um, the tune is called Do You Hear What I Hear? Uh, because it's a sacred tune. Uh, talk about the Christmas holiday. But, uh, oh boy, I think that like if the church congregation when I was a child heard this arrangement that we're about to play, they might have just like clutched their chest and like keeled over. Uh, you know, it's definitely got uh, some nightclub vibes uh, with, a, with a nice sacred tune. So we hope you enjoy um, uh, an arrangement actually by another person who, you know, if you had made it to the big band show last February with Stephen Fife, again, he had come down here and he is chomping at the bit to come back to Austin. So we'll bring him soon. Uh, from a great trumpet player and arranger by the name of John Lake. Here is do you hear what I hear? Sky Shepherd Boy, do you hear what I hear? A song, a song, high above the trees, with a voice as big as the sea, with a voice as big as the sea. Said the shepherd boy to the mighty king, Do you hear what I hear? In your palace warm, mighty king, Do you hear what I hear? A child, a child, shivers in the cold, Let us bring him silver and gold. Thomas Wayne Linsky. 
said the king to the people everywhere, listen to what I say. Oh, pray for peace, people everywhere. You gotta listen to what I say. The child, the child, sleeping in the night, he will bring us goodness and light. John Lake in the Ether, Thomas Winglinski featured on that last tune. All right, we, uh, we had this, uh, this um, uh, arrangement of uh, Let It Snow we were gonna play from, from last year that, that uh, is really fantastic. And, and Diego called me uh, a few days ago and he was like, hey man, let's talk about this set list. Let's, uh, you know, he had a, a few tunes that he wanted to, to put in and I was like, man, by all means, let's fill the set. And, you know, but people won't be upset if we play for like three and a half hours, four hours, you know, it's a, it's a nice. It's a nice setting. You know, I, I think at a certain point, you know, some of us welcome it. You know, if like in-laws are already in town, they're like, I'm gonna go out to this show and it might be like three, four, eight, 10, 12 hours, five days, like I'll be back later, you know, so that way we can open presents, you know. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna keep going though. This is a, a really beautiful arrangement kind of in the essence of uh, the great Johnny Mathis, one of the voices of the season. Um, and so uh, Diego hit me with it, and I was like, man, this is such an incredibly uh, beautiful arrangement. So we'll slow it down for you. Uh, here's a tune you don't really hear all the time slowed down. So here is Let It Snow. The snowman in the yard is frozen hard. He's a sorry sight to see. If he had a brain, he'd complain. I'll bet he wishes he were me. The weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs of stopping And I'm blind so corn for the poppy The lights are turned way down low Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Finally kiss goodnight How I'll hate going out in the storm But if you, if you really hold me tight All the way home I'll be warm The fire is slowly dying And 
my dear, we're still good by and by. As long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow. Rivera, a ranger. All right, I got some more people that uh, we got to thank. We got one more tune for you this evening. We still feeling okay? Everybody feeling all right? It's nice, warm. It, it feels nice, warm, and toasty. I know the lights are on us, but it feels nice and warm. Let's all savor this feeling because I think it's going to be like 40 degrees cooler and, you know, we're all going to have some like PTSD from February of 2021. So, but for now... We're going to be so happy all together, nice and warm here in Monk's Jazz. Can we please have a hand for the proprietor of this joint, somebody who placed, uh, uh, had a place for jazz musicians, Colin Shook, when there was none. I mean, I, I have to brag on him just a little bit, you know, so you, you come back and, and support this very fine establishment, you know. Um, it's, it's a nice, it's cool, it's very like uh, an underground kind of vibe and it, it, you know, it feels very familial, uh, which is you know, appropriate for the, the, the Christmas holidays. But uh, when the, the pandemic struck, uh, Colin had started doing these live stream concerts and partnered with Austin Jazz Society. And what they were able to do with these uh, concerts is they were able to raise, I think close to, if not right at $200,000, something like that, Colin? hundred and uh, about hundred and fifty thousand dollars that all went into the pockets of people like me and everybody in this room you know to keep us afloat so one more hand for Colin Shook that's a really beautiful thing about this community uh, you know uh, speaking sentimentally um, you know as the the holidays are approaching is that the the jazz community here in Austin is um, you know very I, I used to say like small but mighty but it's not even small like secrets out this this entire community is just incredible. I mean, you're, you're hearing some of the best musicians that you could in the entire, you know, country uh, and the entire world right here in the, you know, small little Austin. So give it up for this big band one more time. All right, let's recognize these people over back on the trumpets. I wasn't going to forget. I could never forget on the lead trumpet. Uh, give it up, please, a man who never misses on the lead trumpet, Eric Johnson. You know him, you love him. Uh, Mr. Uh, like Jackson Bucky's himself on the trumpet, Chris Cermak. Over here with the, the best jacket I've ever seen, man. I need to, I need to, I need to get that from you. You can hook me up. All right, great, great, great. Give it up for Jimmy Shortell on the trumpet. And over here on the trumpet, sitting in with the band for the first time, I, I love him. I'm so grateful for him for being here. Give it up for Jason Grant. This very fine rhythm section deserves an introduction. Uh, the, uh, the engine of the band. Give it up for Daniel Dufour on the drums. <laughs> on the bass, a beautiful man. Give it up for Ryan Hager. 
No other words are needed other than a beautiful man. Representing the unsung heroes of the Christmas uh, color season, give it up for Marco Antonio Santos. <laughs> Mr. Miami, give it up for Thomas Winglinski on the piano. I, I, I would like to say that we didn't strategically put like the two people wearing uh, university, uh, uh, you know, <laughs> representations on their clothes today, but we got man in the corner. We have Miami over here on the piano and the University of Texas on the tr bass trombone. Who will win? Come back tomorrow night for Monday, Monday, Monday. Anyways, the, the bit's over. It's Aaron, in fact. Well, again, I said that we were going to pay tribute twice to uh, The Great Home Alone, and this uh, uh, is one that I immediately associate with that film. Uh, so, uh, oh, one more person that I have to thank. I'm so sorry for, for talking so long, but I, I do have to thank this person. Um, I, back in uh, October of 2021, um, I, well, for years before, I had had an idea of uh, starting a, a jazz production company uh, that would uh, reside here in Austin because I thought that Austin, you know, uh, we had a really strong scene here, but we were underrepresented on the national scale, and I wanted to bring everything back home. Everybody was like, why don't you just leave and go, like, some to some other city? And I was like, because that's not, that's not the Austin way. We gotta bring it back home. We gotta make sure to put the spotlight back on this incredible scene and these incredible musicians. And uh, there was one person who was crazy enough uh, to go along with me on this financial venture. Uh, and he is in the house this evening and he has made so many of these shows, including tonight, possible uh, through his patronage and keeping the lights on, you know, quite literally in every sense of that word. So please give a warm welcome to himself and his family in the back, my partner in life and in, in music and finances, Kirk Word. <laughs> All right, one more tune, we'll get out of here. Sound good? Yeah. Two more. <laughs> That's what I like about like the, why, why it was like an underwhelming response is they were like, no, we want more. It's like usually like, come on, man, got the sitter, you know. All right, here is Rockin' Around the Christmas Tree. Rockin' around the Christmas tree at the Christmas party hop. Mistletoe hung where you can see everybody cops to stop. Hey, rockin' around the Christmas tree, let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices sing. Jolly deck the halls with boughs of holly rocking around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday. Everyone dancing merrily in the new old fashioned way. Sweet, 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 
going on the trombone. So hung when you can see every couple tries to stop rocking around the Christmas tree. Let the Christmas spirit ring. Later we'll have some pumpkin pie and we'll do some caroling. You will get a sentimental feeling when you hear voices singing. Let's be jolly. Let the halls with bells of holly rock around the Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday everyone dancing merrily in the new old fashion Thomas Wiglinski on the arrangement give it up one more time for this fantastic big band my name is Christian Wiggs thank you so much for being here have a very happy holidays and Merry Christmas we'll see you guys in the new year Get home safe, travel safe. Good night.